fight well. You're strong, disciplined, loyal. It sounds like you're complimenting a dog father. I should add stiff-necked and unpredictable, perhaps. No traits that I should be ashamed of. True. And I fear that your talents will be needed soon. The great game of politics is occasionally played with living pieces. As it is now. I don't like it. Isabel crowned queen and made a living saint by the red priests of the new church. Rebellious lord seeking asylum with former allies? That snake, Alaric, named Archbishop. And where did the angels go? It worries me too. Sometimes I think that Isabel is... Yes. What am I? You are the queen. Of course. I'm glad to hear your protestations of devotion, Frida. For you are going to war. Freda, to war? But I am the commander of the Griffin armies. No longer. I thought to name Laszlo, but I think Frida is more suited. You shall be my advisor, Godric. Your experience is too precious to risk on the battlefield. But Freda, she is... she is... Uh... She is the most able commander we have. Can you name another? Hmm. I thought not. You depart in three days. Three days? That's not enough time to muster troops. We are in a hurry. More troops will follow. We are recruiting new units. Stronger, more obedient. Make yourself ready. My queen. New troops leaving unprepared? Promoting that beast, Laszlo? Surround yourself with loyal troops, Freda. Be careful. And you, father. Whatever game is being played, you are one of the key pieces. I know. But no matter what, Freda, remember, the Empire is greater than any one person. Cleave to your duty. To Elrath, Griffin Eternal. Perhaps, Father. I hope so. What do we owe the honor of this audience? We have come for the boy and to arrest you for treason. Laszlo! We are here to talk, Uncle, and to find a way out of this impasse. I see no impasse. We, faithful worshippers of Elrath, are living in peace in the lands of our allies. You have betrayed the Empire, disobeyed our sainted queen, and kidnapped the young Prince Andre. The child is the nephew of our deceased King Nikolai and legitimate heir to the throne. We are in elven lands. The false church of Isabel and her heathen followers have no business here. False church? You shall burn with your heresy. We are here to see that loyal subjects like yourselves obey Saint Isabel's wishes. Saint? She has dallied with necromancers, brought ruin to the Empire, and now fashions herself a saint. Elrath himself will judge her. Please, Uncle, let us settle this peacefully. Give us the child and surrender. Or else? Or else I'll chop you into pieces too small for the maggots. Laszlo! Infidel! Heathen! By Elrath we shall destroy you! firing on us, those meadow-skipping pointy-eared elves. I see you've noticed that their arrows are pointy too. Forest freaks, and the peasants are supporting them. How do you know this? <laughs> One of them told me. I see. Could I speak with him as well? Neither he or the rest of his village are able to talk anymore. Your dedication is exemplary, Laszlo. Ignore the arrows. We ride straight to the rebels. And fight them single-handed? It's difficult to attack with dead troops, unless your name is Markel. Fortunately, reinforcements are on the way. Finally. 
When and where? Well, they have been encircled. We need to break them out. So, we go to the aid of the reinforcements. What an original strategic plan. We will get the new troops, wipe out the peasant villages, and force the elves to confront us on our terms. That will be the end of this sylvan distraction. Ah, I'll go find a dull spoon to cut their hearts out with. you. How could I? How could you? Turning against your own blood, against Elroth. I serve the Queen. Your loyalty was never in question. But the Queen, who does she serve? And so the traitor perishes. Your faith is an example to us all, Freda. Even one's own family must be purged of the demon taint. If you were really dedicated, you would have tortured him for information first. I did that to an old comrade of mine. It took both eyes, eight teeth, and two limbs to learn that they sent the brat to the stag duchy. So, Duncan thinks he can play hide-and-seek in his forests? He will soon learn that our zeal will burn even the thickest woods. To Horncrest! The blessings of Elworth on your soul, Uncle. New reinforcements will soon be... What was that? Unnatural acts. Put your worries aside. Further reinforcements are coming from the Queen. With them, we shall flush out and destroy any trace of this pestilence. I like these new troops. Let me lead them. A moment, Laszlo. Freda commands. The new troops shall join her ranks. No! She doesn't understand. Freda must learn appropriate strategies for the new empire we are building. As you wish, Alaric, but I would rather have a score of archangels by my side. Where have they gone?
found nothing. No temples, no altars, no portals, nothing. Then where do they come from? Where did you discover the demonic troops? You found them, not I. They are everywhere. The hamlets, the cottages, the farms. They must be burned out. Let's start with that one. Monster! Barbarian! Those are citizens of our empire! Demon worshippers must be brought to justice! Your version of justice seems to consist of very little proof and quite a lot of flames. We work under the Sainted Queen's mandate. Purge your minds of any doubt as we purge the demon lovers. No time for rest. Saint Isabel demands an audience. Her wish is my command. the methods of my Archbishop. He has killed many peasants, my Queen. Inevitably some innocents, your loyal subjects. You disagree with him? Yes, with him and with his actions. You are much like Godric, who voiced the same reserves. Your father is now reflecting with leisure upon his rash words. In the prison below Ivan's tower. What? You imprisoned a lord of the realm, one of the most renowned knights in the history of the Empire? He is old, and his words show that his wit is failing. Don't you fail me as well, Frida. If you do, well, there are a few inquisitors wondering who would be the first to make that tough old warrior scream. What? Are my wishes clear? Are they? Yes, my queen. I shall obey. You see, Alaric, Laszlo, she can learn wisdom. See that she remembers it. Of course, Saint Isabel. I know, Alaric, and word of your butcher Laszlo has preceded him. But this, like other Inquisitors, you seem to have an unholy fetish for Iron Maidens. I am Freda, Countess of the Unicorn Duchy and Lord High Constable of the Queen's Armies. And you are about to lose your life, or at the very least, your tongue. Very good, Freda. Wait, you... you're Godric's daughter? Amazing. You can actually add one plus one and come up with two. Where is the child? Where is Prince Andre? He is with an old friend among the dwarves of the Winterwind clan. You traitor! Sending the Prince of the Realm off to rot in their grim mines? Grim mines? 
Your ignorance shines like a beacon, Alaric. I'm surprised you don't attract moths. Ignorant heretic! Freda Laszlo silence his mouth by removing his head. I'll do things to you that will scare the trees. Wait. He is a Duke of the Empire. Killing him will encourage the Queen's enemies. True. What do you suggest? Send him under guard to the capital. He will be at our mercy, away from his friends and allies. Let me kill him. No, Laszlo. Freda may be right. If we make a martyr of him, we may encourage other rebels. Very well. Come, Laszlo. We must speak with the Queen. I knew that you were too beautiful to be so bloodthirsty. A trite phrase from a trite man. It shows how little you know of women. Captain. Yes, ma'am. Take him from here to Talonguard by back roads. Let him guide you. Understood. Thank you. But why? The longer I'm with those two, the more I question what is going on in the realm. Join with me, then. With us. Fight them. They hold my father. I must be patient. I know, Godric. In your place, he would not hesitate. Saying is easier than doing. Good luck, Duncan. To you as well, Freda. May we meet again. By their ancestors. Though I share your sentiments, Laszlo, we are not ready for that. I have requested a parley. Let me talk to them. Laszlo has difficulty communicating with anything other than his fists. Yes? May the light of Elrath illuminate your path, and the fires of Arkath light your forge. Uh. And yours. Nicer than that other night. What do you want? To go to Tor Haral, to speak with your leaders about a diplomatic matter. There are rules, always have been. A fee to enter, and no odd troops. Why? We are here on a mission of peace, bringing the blessings of Elrath. Well, bring all the blessings you want, but none of those brimstone-smelling red thugs. And there will be a toll as well. Alaric. You can wait with Laszlo. I'll come back with the boy. I don't like it. They are treating us like servants. It's their land. Just try to keep a lid on Laszlo. I shall be back as quickly as I can. Andre. I told Duke Duncan that he'd be safe. Where's Duncan? Duncan? He's been arrested for treason. What? Is the Empire gone mad? Humans are always hot-headed, and they lie. Not Duncan. As we say, he has fire in his heart and cold steel in his guts. The Queen of the Griffin Empire is worried. He's going to the capital to explain himself, that's all. Sure. This stinks like month-old lard. Lord! They're attacking! What? What? The humans! Laszlo assaults Tor Hral! Diplomatic mission, eh? Liar! Scum! Take them to the border! What? They had safe passage in. They'll have safe passage out. Fool! Take them! They're valuable pawns! Not me. I gave my word. You do that too much. First, Prince Andre. Now this! Get out of here. Go! You 
gave your word, Ninny. I did not! I will hunt them. Laszlo, hunting imaginary demons, butchering peasants, and now starting a senseless war. We should continue, my lady. Rolf and his armies chase us without pity. I am finished with their slaughter and their insanities. Forgive me, Father, but my conscience and my faith leave me no choice. I go to war against Alaric, Laszlo, and his mad queen. I must rest. Elrath, guide my steps. I chafe at all of this. An absent clan lord. Rumor of war on the surface. Tremors in the structure of things. It has been thus since Raelic disappeared. Don't say that name! Killed my family. Ruined my clan. And I'm not faking loyalty. I too would be dead. Who? I am Would you see a return to the old days? To the power of the Soul Scar? I seek nothing else. But you were Shania. You were his right hand. Things change. Old lies become new truths. I repeat, would you see the soul scar rise to the glory of old? More than anything. Are you prepared to remember old allegiances? To forget them would be akin to treachery. Good. Plan. Think. Bide your time. Old friends have not been forgotten. And old enemies will never be forgiven. <laughs> I feel the need to celebrate. Bring me a slave, a fresh one, and towels for the blood. As you wish. My lady. Yes, Armando. What weighs on your mind? Many things. And I speak not only for myself. We are far from home. Hunted like rabbits. First by dwarves, now by Duncan's troops. Succinctly put, even though we're rebels, they think we're enemies. We must convince them otherwise. We'll have to find Duncan. Luckily, he has other talents besides chasing women. Is there a guide who knows the paths as well as Duncan? I'll find one, my lady. Excellent. We'll join forces with him. Then let those who desert the Empire and Elrath find a safe place to hide. Griffin Eternal! When I woke up this morning, I was about to be dragged in chains from my homeland to the dungeons of a mad queen. Yet here I am, safe and sound, rescued by a blessed angel of mercy. Is that so? When I woke up this morning, I was tired and irritable, and little has changed. Hmm. I didn't know angels were so grumpy. So, savior whose radiance brings light to these dark forests, what next? Things have gotten worse. That scum Laszlo attacked Tor Haral. Laszlo. I'd like to make him a head shorter. And your friend Wolfstan has got himself in trouble for protecting Andre. Ah. We've gotten each other in trouble over the years, but never like this. I must help him. I 
can't go. I must save my father. Of course. He will be in trouble as soon as they get word of your change of heart. I'm worried. It's a long journey. Look, I'll help you get to Gustav's Bend. You can hire a boat there. It'll save you days of travel. But then I must go to free my duchy and my friends. Thank you, Duncan. For an uncouth rebel, you're not a bad man. Well, for an arrogant countess, you're not a bad human being. Griffin Eternal. For our freedom! Duncan, thank you. I must go now to free my father. I'd help you, but I'm needed here. I won't rest until the print of my boot is firmly marked, either on Laszlo's retreating buttocks or in the loam above his grave. Certainly. It is your duty. I'll be back as soon as I can. I would see you again, side by side on the field of battle. Is that so, Freya? I can think of other places where I'd much rather be side by side with you. First things first, Duncan. We have an empire to restore. Ah, yes. But empires require heirs, and that means... You are a dangerous man, Duncan. Fare thee well. And you. Until we meet again. Mother, not mine. 
Your duty is clear. Give up the prince. End the war. Coward! We get attacked, and you want to give in! A thousand years of dwarven kings just wept in their dreams! from my clan. My word is binding for you too. You broke your own oath. Not as I see it. I go to talk to the king! Go, you gutless one. Don't risk war to keep your lands. You might dirty your clothes. Go cry to the king's house. <sighs> I go. And when I come back, you'll sing another song. Most likely, I'll be singing victory hymns, and Laszlo and his red fanatics will be singing dirges. You're too drunk and stupid to beat him. You wouldn't know. I am sometimes drunk, but I am always smart. You, you're just sometimes drunk. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what King Tolgar and High Priest Hengvon say about this. Angle. I'd better get word to the clan. No telling where this storm might hit. What is it, Rolgar? Rolf! He's taken little Andre. Killed your shield guards. Stinking bastard. Hard to believe he's kith and kin. Any orders? Aye. Follow him. See where he goes. I'll have something to settle with him when this is done and over. What do you mean, traitor? Everyone knows you don't like Wolfstan. Your claims are a bit far-fetched. But he is. He started a war with the Griffin Empire! Really? Just out and attack them? Who? His friend and neighbor Duncan? Or did he mount a siege on Talongard? Well, he... Uh, has a griffin prince! Well, what about this prince who's causing all this trouble? Ah, yes. Asylum is not granted lightly. Wolfstan should have thought a while before he tied the stone halls to his friend's quarrels. Uh, exactly! That's what I meant! He's acting without thinking of our people! I fear, my king, that we may need to take another look at this... Uh, incident. Oh, really? But Wolfstan has always been so strong, so sure. King of the Stone Halls, my lords. I beg an audience with you. I am Isabel, Queen of the Griffin Empire. You? It is your troops to attack. How did you get in here? It is a form of projecting one's image, using a portal. Curious. I thought only demons and heathen wizards knew that trick. We have learned much from the captured cultists. We have heard of your obsession in this matter. But that is your business. The border war is ours. Correct. Now speak carefully. We are at war. Wrongfully so. A renegade war chief named Wolfstan is holding one of our princes. And this war distracts you at a time when the Dark Elves are rearming. There have been a few minor clashes. Sadly, our hands are bound by treaties signed with the Clan Lord Raylag. We must support them in times of war. Then we will defeat you. Twice. The thing is that, you see, with the proper incentive, a meaningless treaty with the Dark Elves could be forgotten, and our border war ended. Hmm. Yes? The Prince. Give us Andre, and you shall have a free hand to punish the Dark Elves for their pride.
What is this? Broken treaties sacrifice princes. Think, Your Majesty. A firm link with a strong Griffin Empire, a chance to drive the cave scum out of their holes. There is much about it that I like, with but one small flaw in the metal. Correct. Uh, what is it? Our young friend, Wolfstan. and those red rogues will run for home! <laughs> Forge and fire! <laughs> Greetings, Harold! What news from Tor Midal? I bring news to true-hearted Tors. You'll find no others here! <laughs> King Tolgar has called a conclave of the clan leaders. War has been decreed against the Dark Elves of Ying Cha. <laughs> How many wars do they want to fight at once? Our clan is stretched thin enough by this one. Yes, uh, and uh, also, uh, uh... Come on, out with it, lad! Why there, Rit? Wolfstan of the Winter Wind has been named traitor and outlaw. What? Shut up and go home. He's got the mind of a child. Bend him over and spank him. Let me kick him first. I call. I call on all true-hearted dwarves to heed the word of the king and cut themselves off from Wolfstan. A price has been put on his head, and he will be hunted down. Shave his beard! Cut his heart out to see what a true one looks like! Dress him in pink and purple! He's gone mad! All right, enough! Why do they call me a traitor? Who have made war on our friends? The Griffin Empire. Me? It was either that laddie, or hand them the keys. Go home! You've got your answer. We'll keep fighting until our lands are free. Whoever comes against us, roll for an handful of men. Good news, boys! In his kindness, Arket's sending us a few more butts to kick! <laughs> Good news, Warlord! The Griffin troops are pulling back! They are, are they? Good. I'm not shocked. A rabid dog like Laszlo needs gold to buy his army's obedience. But they've left many troops in Dorflau, and they're digging in. Let them. By fire and forge, Arketh willing, we'll grind them down until the only thing left in the land of the Stone Halls are their bloodstains!
blood of Arketh. I'll have my vengeance on Wolfstan. You use our cap's name too easily, and for your own ends, I'll stay with Wolfstan. You too, a turncoat? Once I'm back in Tormir Dahl, I'll have all your heads. If you can take it, it's yours. By the clans and the forges, Wolfstan. You're a dead maggot. So, he's gone back to Tormidal, eh? Stirring up more trouble, no doubt. Well, once we have Torral back, he'll have a hard time making good on his oaths. There's more. Rolf was also worried about Duncan. Someone set him free. He's harrying Rolf's troops. He's free? You were a lassie. I'd kiss you! My old mate Duncan is loose and causing trouble. You know what they say, two hard heads are better than one. <laughs> Let's go find him. Wolfstan, you mad rascal! It's damn good to see you. Duncan! Alive and well and breathing! Somebody broach a keg! Uh, not now. We still have... I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Ah! If you get scared of doing what's right, you might as well lay down and die. Besides, things were bound to blow up with Rolf sooner or later. Indeed. What do the clans say? Wind side with me. They like integrity. Hangvel will sway his deep flame priests. The others, Grimsteel will follow the king, as will Hearthgar. Stonefist, Stronghammer, who knows? I'd guess the new war under the mountain will worry them more. The Dark Elves as well? Why? Where? When? They probed us a bit, and Tolgar went after him hammer and tongs. That's his problem, though. We need to clean up our own mess first. Deal. But it won't be simple. I wish Freda were here. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> what? She's got a great strategic mind. And a few other things going for her as well. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Even the rocks know what you mean. Anyway, she's off to save her father. The more trouble we can cause for Alaric and Laszlo, the easier her path will be. There you go! We both want to stomp on Laszlo's neck. Let's get going. And just one thing, you'll invite me to the wedding, won't you? Or at least to your stag party. <laughs> Wolfstan, old friend. Yes. Shut up. <laughs> Scouts have seen her too? Aye. She's in trouble and needs to hurry. I'm worried. If Laszlo knows she's escaping, he'll send word to Talengard. Then, Godric. I wouldn't like to see that happen. Me neither. Let's give them something else to think about, shall we?
is it? What's he doing? Damned if I know. Well, he's a vicious bastard. You're always too polite. I call him an ass. More war! More red troops coming! Ah, blast! Wars! Warriors of the school Wars! a voice like that, lad. I'd have second thoughts about marrying her. But she's done for Laszlo. Good girl, that one. Whatever magic he had, Freyda's scream broke it. Let's finish it. Duncan, old friend. I have never before felt so much like cracking skulls. Forward! Tonight we'll see each other again. Either over roast deer. Aye, or in the halls of our fathers. Forge and fire! Shadow is always here and there, watching from close or afar, drinking your words and screams. In her abyssal womb lie all the forgotten memories and the buried secrets of the past. Eliya. Oh, mother of the shadows, I obey. Yes, heed me. Look to the soul scar. They have rebuilt old altars. Revive their old rites. Their minds are hidden, even from me. What can I do to execute your will? Learn. Lay bare their plans. Learn of their rituals. Expose their new loyalties. Your will shall be my will. Your needs, my needs. As it should be. Good. Glad. Think. Bide your time. Old friends have not been forgotten. And old enemies will never be forgiven. <laughs> I feel the need to celebrate. Bring me a slave, a fresh one, and 
Tao. As you wish. I will teach you a new ritual. One that requires new sacrifices. Careful. You must not be found out. Excellent. What must I do? I learned something. What was that? No! The spy must be found! Genres, warriors, a spy! Find him and bring him to me! And the guards who failed their duty! Soul Scar heretics! They would enslave our peoples to their foul infernal lords! They dare to spurn the path of Tweedhana! Their corruption runs deep. Their blood shall run as well. This I do swear. We must go warn our kin. The Shadowbrand must learn of Thralsai's lies and Shadia's fate. We live to obey, Shadow Sister. Fighting is grim, Your Majesty. Our troops are brave. Truly, my king. They are willing, but uh, undisciplined. They are loyal, but like guidance. What do they fear? Why do they not fight? They face poisons, knives in the dark, traps. If the Iron Hand those cave tigers took were still good, I'd help them. My duty. I must go. You? It is too risky. You are aged, Your Majesty. Too old to lead troops to glory. Those days are over. Old am I? Unfit for battle? If Arkhal has chosen this as my fate, I'm not afraid to meet it. I'll lead the troops myself. But, Your Majesty, you're needed here. There are Ceremonies, meetings, and uh, we are at war. I see my duty now. I must go, as your Majesty wishes. Summon the war lords, the fire and forge. Bring the king's armor and his weapons. He was a beacon of hope in his time. His metal rusted over the years. We need a stronger king. Summon my Me, for instance. Don't take me for a fool. We all know of your ambitions. But remember, I do this for the stone halls, not for you. Your suspicions are correct, O oh Shadowed One. Again, they spurn your words to Lord Urgash. Once again is twice too many. Death? shall be the least of their worries. Ah, I must speak with an old ally. Yes, there was a clan lord, grim, arrogant, but loyal. He is gone, but I feel he is not dead. Described like this, you must speak of Raylag. Yes, once lost, twice born. But first, you must find my children, my little ones. They deserted Thraussai. It will be easier if you wear the garb of their masters. The raiment of Tweedhana? It is lost. Find them. Yes, and then... Find Raylag. Not that I dislike your home, but we have dallied long, and the Empire needs us. Ha! Huh. You do too dislike my home, but I'm not offended. I don't like it much either. Who are you? Speak quickly or die quickly. Your choice. You must remember me, Clan Lord. I am your Keeper of the Law, named Yelaya. 
Ah, of course. And you are here for? Molossa's daughter said to seek you out. Here we go again. She needs me. Things must be stirring. But the Empire... It's unwise to ignore the summons of Molossa, my love. So what is it this time? The Soul Scar Lord, Thralsai, a vicious fool, has reforged their alliances of old. Your fallen sidekick Shadia holds his leash. Shadia? You don't know, do you? He's not one of us, but a succubus in disguise. Ashan would be a better place if her clever head was separated from the rest of her body. Then we have no choice. Did we ever? We're pawns in a game of dragons. Very well, Elia. We shall come. What can we do? We're few and they are strong. Their armies have the aid of demon troops. The Solskar have one great weakness, though. They are slow learners. We have to hold the town. We're lost without supplies and reinforcements. You spoke of the dragons. Will they breed here? No. They deserted us for Thralsai's sins. They will not change their minds so easily. We can help. Not with this. Melassa is quite particular about her worshippers and their acts of devotion. Raylag is right. I must do this alone. Good luck. Your task will be easier with the armor. Hopefully it will be more comfortable than the one I once wore. Melassa's wisdom be with you, clan lord. of shadow, not of sulfur. You wear the skins of the masters. Melassa summons you. I speak her words. From her I bring you orders to obey. The faithless soul scar must all be destroyed. It is good, even glorious, when duty and desire are one. Confirmed, Shadow Sister. They are besieged, and Thralsai's force is too numerous to count. The enemy moves fast. We must hurry then. Our allies need our reinforcements now. And our enemies. They need our instruction.
I have been contacted. There is a need. I don't like the sound of your voice. What is it? Your Kabbalah's child. I have to go. He must be stopped. I would go, but what was done to me? The thing that came out. I couldn't face it. But we had so little time. We were lucky, Isabel. To have any time at all. Yala, escort Isabel to Horncrest. There she can rally loyal Griffin troops. With their help, she can push back the fanatics of the Demon Queen. Yes, Clan Lord. When will you be back? Very soon, if I have any say about it. Go quickly, then. Yig Chal needs all your strength, as does the Griffin Empire. Oof. Sometimes I wish I'd been born to do something simple. Breed lizards, pick mushrooms. Fortunately for Ashan, that's not the case. Take care. Goodbye, Isabel. I miss him as well, lady, but be strong. That is a refrain that I have heard all too often. It is unfortunately correct. To Horncrest, then? Yes, to Horncrest. If the Stag Duchy has stayed loyal and sided with the Dwarves, we will have a powerful ally. And if not, they'll pay a heavy price. you are at war. It's what you dwarves do whenever you are sober and awake. What? I'll... Old Wolf, they didn't lift the siege just to attack us. Besides, she has a point. Ha! Next time you need a duchy saved, I'll make sure I'm drunk and sleeping. Let me thank you and apologize for my sober friend. But he has a good question. Why did you help us? We all fight demons. It's a common cause. Molossa looks upon you as a friend. I applaud both Molossa's principles and her good taste in messengers. If I had known the rebels had such charm, the siege would have been raised more rapidly. But what of Isabel's fanatic troops? We destroyed Laszlo's army, but a good friend sacrificed herself for the victory. Perhaps you'll let me help to soothe your woes. In Yig Chal, we are skilled in certain arts. Such a generous offer. How could I resist? You're a piece of work, mate. And who is... What? May I present Queen Isabel of the... I'll keep spoiling gonads! You, murderer, demon lover. Wait, that's not me. 
The queen who sits on the throne is an imposter, a demoness, a succubus. Easy to say, and a bit hard for us to check. Why should we believe you? Would a true griffin queen consort with demons, kill Godric, burn peasants? No argument there. But how do I know you're not her? I have traveled with her in Raelag. I believe her. I see. But did you know the real Queen Isabel? I knew her quite well. The false Isabel. She is fat, well-fed, satiated. This one is rather leaner and angrier. Thank you, I think. Are you satisfied, Duncan? Yes. Freda. We heard an echo, a, a scream. I thought you were dead. Your period of mourning was admirably brief. That's unfair! My apologies. I didn't realize you'd heard it. I saw Elroth. You have the look of one who has been touched by a visitation of the Dragon Guards. Aye, we heard the scream. Laszlo died right after, coughing up blood. Good show, lassie. I'm glad you're back, Freda. We must all stand together if we hope to win or survive. We have a duchy to free, a war to end, and a demon queen to cast down. And a true Isabel to raise up. I've had enough of thrones, Freda. Once Talengard is ours again, I'll let the peers of the realms choose who they wish, as long as it is not me. They are fully engaged, my queen. Wards, dark elves, and rebels. Good. Then do as I said. You are sure? It will throw the world into turmoil. And that is a good thing. Do as I command, Alaric. Share my glory. Share my pleasure. Of course. As you desire. What is this? They talk back? Perhaps they're expecting reinforcements. Or it's a feint. No. Their position is too strong to need either. They're leaving. That makes no sense. Not to us, only to them. And that makes me very, very worried. There's some greater plan at work here. What goes on? What treachery is this? The Haven troops withdraw. The day is ours. Today will be triumphant, I don't doubt. What strange news, this. What will tomorrow bring? Ha-ha! <laughs> they retreat! Uh... They retreat? What do you mean? No, what do they mean? Do they toy with us? Mark us? No. Ah, the guards. We'll finish their allies first, and ask questions later. It's a sad day for our people. He was a weak king. He chose a bad ally. But... But what, Wallace? But he'll die in war before he gives up. Too old, too proud, and too foolish. He forged the armor. He can die well. Aye, let's get it over with. So why did they do it? Simple. It served their ends. What's wrong? We won! But what did we win? Though we crushed their allies and won back our own territory, they remain as strong as ever. All their fighting was done by puppets. Biara and Alaric are still more powerful than any of us. Reflect, Wolfstan, on where we find ourselves. Duncan's once proud duchy laid to waste. Freyda still unwanted in her home. And you shall be accused of regicide. We must decide what to do. For my part, I'm tired of running. I'll raise the duchies. The demon cultists must be exposed and destroyed. My duty also lies with the Griffin Empire. I also have some scores to settle. Elia, your troops would be invaluable. And with the Soul Scar destroyed, your position in Yigchal is strong. Disturbance on the surface of Ishan has always been reflected in Yigchal. In helping you. I help my clans as well. We're with you too. It'll take a lot of talking and yelling before we're welcome in the stone halls again.
Then, my friends, I recommend we rest and get ourselves ready to move quickly. When war comes, we cannot be caught unprepared. You say you serve a higher purpose. But your only purpose, as I see it, is to make me travel a lot. <laughs> At least you still have the good sense to listen to me. Are you ready, then? Always. Could you be a little more specific? East, you said? If I could be specific, I'd give you a map. I have certain handicaps. I'm dead. What do you expect? Hmm. Very well. I doubt there'll be demon cultists among the orcs. So I'll start with the free cities. Good luck, Greylag. As usual, you'll need it. My queen, I have done as you command. <laughs> Lovely. The Dwarven King. Dead. The Dark Elves. Their strongest clan shattered. And they think they can corner me now. Ah, oh, poor fools! I have one other card to play, Alaric. A strong one. <laughs> Life is so very good, my Alaric. I live to serve, my queen. And your service shall be most richly rewarded. But there is one final task. Anything. The boy, our little Andre, who caused us such trouble. Bring him to me. I have need of him. Or at least, need of his blood. 